Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Inside Artesian Football here on WREP 15 Sports with the head coach, Fred Cutriff. I'm your host, Eric Meyer. Martinsville, tough loss on the road to their rivals, Bloomington South, on Friday night. A good comeback for the Artesians Falls. Just a few seconds short, we'll talk with the coach about that contest. We'll also bring in Artesian senior quarterback Hayden Northern and talk with him about the year thus far. And we'll look ahead to the Artesians Mid-State Conference opener on Friday night in the friendly confines of Ciderwitz Field as they play host to the Woodman from Greenwood High School. Up first, though, we'll come back with the coach, take a look at some of the highlights from the Bloomington South contest. We'll do that when Inside Artesian Football continues. Discover Artesian Outdoors, the Bass Pro Shop on State Road 37 next to 84 Lumber. Inside you'll find a shop crammed full with all your hunting and fishing needs. Artesian Outdoors, the Bass Pro Shop carries a full line of archery and hunting supplies of all types. And they have a giant selection of tackle, live bait and fishing gear. And catalog ordering is also available every Monday. For all your hunting and fishing needs, stop by Artesian Outdoors, the Bass Pro Shop on State Road 37 next to 84 Lumber behind O'Neill Mulch. Shop at Keller's Office Supply at 159 North Main Street in Martinsville for all your school and office supply needs. When you come to Keller's, you'll find superstore prices with hometown service. Keller's Office Supply offers same-day delivery for all your office and janitorial needs. And if they don't have your supplies in stock, why drive when you can call Keller's? They have over 35,000 unique and hard-to-find items that are available to deliver them to your door the very next day. Looking for new office furniture? John Lake and Keller's can design custom-made furniture to fit your space. Come to Keller's. We'll teach you like family. Being a student athlete has definitely helped me in the classroom because it's helped me balance my time. Teachers expect the best of you and so do coaches and you also always want to be there for your teammates whenever they need you. Between uh, school and sports and just being there for your friends, you need to stay highly motivated, stay on top of your game and that way you can just be a better person overall. High school sports, a healthy part of a complete education. Back inside Artesian football with the head coach, Fred Cutriff and coach on Friday night, you travel down to your rivals, the Bloomington South Panthers, and do what you did kind of in the first game a little bit. Get off to a little bit of a slow start, and South takes advantage of it in the first half of play, builds up a big lead. You guys make a late comeback there in the second half of play, but come up a little bit short. South comes away with a two-point victory on Friday night. Well, we got, uh, you know, you, you hit it right on the head. We same, you know, same kind of start we had against Terre Haute South. These are two games we probably should have won and uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, no, you know, so that's the bad part. Good thing is, is our kids, you know, they don't quit. They kept plugging. And uh, we played with that sense of urgency second half. And it was, it, it was difference of the ball game. Um, so, you know, this, this week it's going to be important that we come out and, and get after it right from the get-go. Tale of two halves really was it an inspirational, motivational halftime speech to get it turned around, or was it more just the kids start executing? Well, I mean, it wasn't. Uh, we've had a few words at halftime, but really just challenged the kids to you know work, look within themselves. Uh, you know, this thing. Uh, you know, when you come in at halftime, it can go two ways. You come back out, you can get embarrassed, or you can come out and play hard and, and play for yourself. And uh, I think our kids came out and did that, and then they got the sense of urgency. And then. You know, before long, you know, we had a chance to win a ball game, and we just we came up short, but hopefully we've learned from it. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the contest on Friday night in, in the first half of play. You'll see some plays here uh, here and there in the first half, but uh, South was able to build that lead there in the first half of play. Yeah, it was Jeremy Millis. He and Zach uh, Woods have had a nice, done a nice job for us on that line. Uh, there's Garrick John. Uh, you know, we just we got, you know, with, we're pretty decent against the run most of the time, weren't consistent enough. But we, our offense let our uh, defense out there a long time. And this was a, they moved this Bauer kid to tell back, and he's a good one, but we should have done a little bit better job on him. Uh, William O'Neill came back, had one of his better games, kind of looked like the William of last year. Uh, boy, he came out and played hard.
They're one of the few passes we deflected. Um, they don't, they're not a throwing team, and that was one of them, you know, the They, they all look seal. like that, though. Basically, every single pass looked like that exactly. from them. Exactly. Uh, Bo Shields, typical Bo. I mean, that's, uh, that's the way Bo plays, and uh, hopefully he'll get them back here a little bit. Big turnover right there. I said our kids kept plugging and playing, and, and uh, you know, we didn't give up. And uh, you know, that's really all you can ask. We just got to hope we get started better this year, this, this upcoming week. Uh, there's William with a big run. I said he was really starting to feel like the old William, and uh, that makes us going to make us a better football team. Excellent effort here by Hunter Smith. Uh, we miss a block, don't block a guy, and he refuses to go down. And uh, extra effort got in there. That's pretty good. Good pursuit right here, guys. You know, trying to stop. That was a big fourth down stop, and uh, it uh, it got us the ball back. Again, here's William. It's our, just our jet play. It's our bread and butter. And uh, we, we block it pretty well, but it helps we have a couple guys like that run it. Big catch there by James Callen. We've got to get more out of that out of our receivers. We've got to catch the football. And, uh, we, and we can do it once, you can do it, you can do it numerous times. Again, I keep saying the same guy, but that was William O'Neill. This is big, big, big Bo, and uh, you know, we got it. We'd like to get Bo out there more on offense. But, uh, you know, he's a little banged up, so hopefully uh, uh, this week he gets a little bit healthier. And we're trying to, you know, keep him from getting, getting hurt too bad, and I, I think he'll be okay. Big play here by Joe Moriarty at Dallas Nunn. Uh, we just, I said, we just got to get more consistent here. Come up, good, got a little break there, got another turnover. Of course, Bo Shields comes up with the ball, and... Uh, uh, that's the only thing we can ask of our defense, you know, win the turnover battle. Nice catch there by William, and, uh, you know, Caden doing a nice job of running the offense here, uh, taking what they gave us, and uh, I said, it really makes a difference. Our guys in this second half started catching the football. Big run by Hunter. Uh, he's just a bull when he gets in there, and, and uh, you know, came back from an ankle injury and uh, could pop back pretty good. Eric John flying in there again, another guy that uh, had to step in for Jared Pond who was injured. So he had a lot of good things happen, but unfortunately the scoreboard doesn't show it. And those are things that, uh, you know, we hopefully will get fixed this week. We had talked about it on the show last week, the fact that Bloomington South would have a pretty good quarterback coming in and he could run it, didn't throw it a whole lot. Well, as it turned out, they moved that quarterback back to tailback. He does a lot of work. You guys in the first half of play surrendered around three to four yards per rush, which is usually pretty good. The difference was that they were able to piece together some big pickups on fourth down, on third down, and they also were able to throw the ball. They didn't make it look very pretty, but they were able to complete passes, and that's what really was the difference in that first half of play. Well, you take away a, a couple of plays there. I mean, uh, a couple of third down, a fourth down. Uh, that ball seemed to be up there forever, and, and give uh, the kids from Bloomington credit. They went and made a play. You know, our, you know we're kind of sitting there watching the ball, and you know, and our kids just things that we work on in practice, and we were hit it hard again this week. Uh, you know, go up and make a play, and uh, uh, sometimes good things happen. And and uh, you know, you're right. That was a difference. You, our defense has to get off the field. Uh, we preach that all the time. You get to third down, we and that's been kind of our Achilles heel the last few years. Is you know, we give up a big play, and uh, those are those are the things that uh, if you're going to win football games, you can't do. In the first half of play, you guys struggled to move the football offensively as well. In the second half, what's some of the difference? We talked about a little bit earlier. Has it come down to execution that the kids are doing what they're supposed to do? Oh, definitely. Uh, we just, we you know, it's not so much we weren't executing. We only ran 14 plays. Yeah. When you got a one, two, three, and punt, get off the field. Uh, you know, we, we've had, in the last two weeks, we've had – critical fumbles, um, and hopefully we'll get that worked out. But uh, when you give the ball up, and those are, you know, even though we stop them, that's another, you know, that's a more, one more time you're putting your defense out there, and, uh, and, and it starts wearing on them, and eventually they're going to pop a few. And I think the, the big thing is going to the second half, I think it's a sense of urgency. You know, I think kind of we sit around, okay, someone's going to catch it. Get, you know, we had about three or four guys take it upon themselves and said, hey, we're going to get this done. And then that kind of rubs off. So I said, uh, and we, we got Greenwood coming up, and they're a good football team, uh, got some good athletes, and we have to come out with that sense of urgency from the get-go. You come out in the second half of play with that sense of urgency. You get the uh, football turned over 
on a couple of occasions and are able to punch it into the end zone. Unfortunately, we talk about three facets of the football game. You talk about the uh, offense, you talk about the defense and the special teams as well. You weren't able to get that first extra point in and you're kind of behind the eight ball as you try to scramble to figure out what you want to do to make sure you have an opportunity to get back into that football game. Well, that's two weeks in a row. We've, you know, we, we week before it was a botched snap. You know, this one, we, we just missed the kick. It does, it puts you behind and as we got to look at, okay, what are we going to do if we've got issues with this and we're going to have to do some different things. Uh, but yeah, you're chasing those points and we also, we go for two. Uh, Hayden lays a great pass into one of our receivers. It's right, I mean, doesn't make the catch. It wasn't anything, it wouldn't have been a spectacular catch, but those little things, and we preach about it all the time, blocking, tackling, but they're doing the little things right, will cost you a ball game, and those, it's cost us some ball games here. It was an opportunity. You guys had to then get an extra possession at the end. You got the extra possession. You just didn't have enough time or timeouts remaining as South comes away with a victory. We're going to take a break here on Inside Artesian Football. When we come back, we'll have senior quarterback Hayden Northern in there, and then we'll also bring back the coach, Fred Cutter, as we preview the contest against Greenwood. We'll take a break and be back inside Artesian Football in just a moment. 